Hi, welcome back to Street Beat. Now we'll shift gears to learn how to be frugal and stop ourselves from spending our whole paycheck on guilty pleasures. Joining me is financial advisor Jeff Ivory. Jeff, thank you for being here. <laughs> I think I'm going to need you more than our audience. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Now, we've been talking about being financially responsible throughout the entire show, and obviously it's tax season, so a lot of families and folks will be getting their tax returns, mm -hmm. a huge chunk of money. Um, that they potentially might not spend properly, and that's why we have you here. What advice do you have for folks who are going to uh, use their tax returns? Well, it's interesting because people, when I usually talk to them in April, they say, look, I love to have the government owe me a lot of money at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. It's my savings plan. And then the end of the year comes, and it turns into a vacation fund. Right. So it's, it's a very quick switch. Um, I, I recommend people take care of the basics first. You know, at the end of the day, you need to make sure you have a good foundation. Uh, a roof over your head, food for the kids, the basics. Um, beyond that, I think people, they lack the discipline to create an emergency fund. Legitimately, three to six months worth of their, ex their expenses. If you look past over the last th few years, the financial situation that we've been hit with has left a lot of families devastated. The only defense against that is to have cash, to have resources that you can fall back on for short-term periods of time in the event that we have another catastrophe. So that is all about saving money and being responsible. So we're getting our tax return, so we're going to be, you know, properly, hopefully, use it. <laughs> uh, but the question I have, you have a program called the FIT program. Tell me exactly what that is and how you try to guide people in uh, saving money. Well, back a few years ago, before the financial crisis, the auto industry was struggling. Mm -hmm. And I came from General Motors originally. so. In looking at some of the struggles that my colleagues were having, I recognize, is, I recognize that during times of transition, losing a job, getting married, um, getting, divorce. getting divorced, yeah. Yeah, having kids, mm -hmm. um, have, sending those kids to college, these are major decision points in people's lives. So we created the FIT series, Finances in Transition, to try and help people get a little information, get a little armor in their financial decision making before they ever have to go out and, and face one of these transitions. When I started with GM, it was a, a big transition. People were losing their jobs before the financial crisis. Many companies were laying off auto workers, and those folks needed decisions. They needed to make decisions on health insurance. They needed to make decisions on their 401ks. They needed to make decisions on what their next job search was going to look like. Mm -hmm. The FIT series is all about helping people, when they hit these transitionary points, make better decisions long term. And speaking of better decisions, I have to ask you, what are the, some of the worst decisions you've seen people do? I know a lot of spending, and I'm so guilty of it, too. <laughs> I know I am. I feel like such a hypocrite host, hosting this part of the show right now. But, I mean, what are some of the major issues that you see that maybe most people might not see it as a major issue? You know, it's going to sound a little cliche, but the biggest mistake I see people make is they don't plan ahead. Mm -hmm. People tend to have a tendency to make decisions kind of in the heat of the moment, and your best decisions aren't made then. Um, it, it's, it's hard to do. It really is. It's a simple process to sit down and create a business plan for you and your family to line out what your goals are. But simple isn't easy, mm -hmm. right? I mean, there's a big difference. Yeah. And I think if people spend a little bit of time and focused on the longer range goals, understanding where they want to get to, how they want to get there, putting some of the parameters in place, I think they'd be better off in general. And I think that's the biggest mistake I see people make is they wait too long and by the time they do make a change, it's too late to do some of the most effective things that you can do to be, you know, to be financially fit. Well, let's let's go back and talk about taxes for a second. Okay. 2011's over. We're all having to face what happened whenever happened in 2011 for our finances. What advice do you have for folks who are in the 2012 thinking about next year's taxes already? I love that question because like I said in the beginning of the segment, taxes are what you should be dealing with for 2012 now, not in March or April of 2013, mm -hmm. right? So biggest changes this year that I think people need to make uh, some concerted decisions about. Number one, how are you going to save the money that you have this year that may put you in a tax efficient position? 401ks, traditional IRAs, there's a tools available that people need to utilize, but they have to utilize them through the year or at least save the money to be able to do so. Additionally, I think a big thing that people f need to focus on is dividends and capital gains. Right now, the tax law is established to where capital gains rates are at 15% for the highest bracket. Next year, there's a lot of uncertainty to that. Mm -hmm. Now's a good time to sit down with a professional and consider how do I want to handle my capital gains if I have any and what tra strategies should I employ going forward. 
now's a great time to do some tax planning for this year for next year. And what a professional you are. We, let's throw up Jeff's information if anyone needs more advice because you could find the uh, details of the FIT series on your website. Absolutely. All right, the website is JWI financial.com. Thank you so much, Jeff, for being here Always with us a today. Thanks, Thanks for those tips. Ex exactly. And that does it for this week's Street Beat. I do want to thank all of our guests, especially Jeff, for helping me out. If you want to submit an idea or you have a, uh, another question for an upcoming show, please go to our Street Beat page on our website at CW50Detroit.com and send us an email. Don't forget to join me tomorrow at 5 a.m. on CBS 62 and 7 a.m. on CW50Detroit. Thanks for watching. I'm Simon Chowdhury.